the Office of the Parliament celebrates International Women's Day 2023. Digital, innovation and technology for gender equality. This NGO uses a unique type of therapy to transform the specially abled in Tobago. As a child in South Germany in a little village, I took care of horses and I got my first horse when I was 11 years old. And my father was actually a teacher for special needs children for 35 years. So they have been around and I have been around. Through a horse, her name is Jennifer, which we actually met up in Speyside in the rainforest. You know, in Germany, I was a coach. I was working at a big horse musical. I was a trainer. And at the end in 2000, something felt off. I felt like I need to start over again. And Jennifer inspired me to build healing and being with horses. She is a legacy. She is the true founder of being and healing with horses. And literally finding her in the rainforest and gaining her trust for six months, I was feeding her. And then she decided to walk with me to Buko. So that's the story. And this is how being and healing with horses was created. Because only through trust, I connect. And only through connection, I can heal. So in 2009, we um, were asked by the Taurus Foundation, which is a foundation for blind, for visual impaired ones. They are based in Trinidad in Washington, DC. They brought down 25 campers and they asked Lennon of Ronica to facilitate the campers in horse therapy. And we said, yes, of course. So we started to uh, bring in a coach from the States who coached not only Lennon and myself, but also all our youth board members, community young youth who are working with us on a daily basis. And it was very um, rewarding. The two weeks come for the blind. So Mr. Torres inspired us. He said, why don't you register a foundation? Then you would be able to raise funds. Then you would be able, in a bigger version, to invite school and community. And because we wanted to offer the opportunity to be and to heal with horses to everyone, regardless of their social background, we started to register Healing with Horses, which is an NGO who developed its own form of therapy. We call it equine for horses and ponies, nature therapy. Yeah, Our horses live in a beautiful park up here. It has been given to us by THA in 2010. And we are allowed to um, create a beautiful space. We call it the Magical Park. And you can see I am surrounded here by our riding arena, where we not only offer grooming riding sessions, but also yoga, meditation, storytelling, art therapy. In 2008, we were asked by community members, but then also tourists, I would like to ride the horses on the beach. And we are very located, very, very close located to the beach. Puku Point is just a minute to walk down the jetty and we are in the water. So um, being with horses is a partnership business of Lennon, my husband, and myself, where we give people a beautiful experience out in Tobago's nature, where we uh, introduce the herd first. So we're presently we have 12 herd members. Some of them are small, some of them are big, some of them are lazy, some of them are spirited, some of them are, are young. We are the youngest one is five. A horse is fully grown when they are five. Just good to know. And our oldest herd member is presently 25. So, and Jennifer actually passed away on the 7th of September. And she just, a couple of weeks before she turned 34. So um, it was time for her to go. And we groomed her until the last minute uh, to find ways to be completely sustainable. Now, next question is, a lot of people ask us, how was it during lockdown? Lockdown was a time where we um, found time to rest. When you run a farm and an organization, you're working seven days a week. 27 hours a day. Um, now, we didn't close the business. Yeah? 
we still have to maintain the park. We have a big space where we do agriculture, where we use our horse manure, where we sell also our horse manure. And you know, because of during lockdown, a lot of people started agriculture. We, one part is we are selling horse manure, well-cured horse manure. People come here, even from Trinidad, pick it up and start their kitchen garden, okay? And then another uh, way to be sustainable is also that we sell beach tours. So that's a two-hour session where we take the people through the village, along the wetland, along the goat race track for a long beach ride, and then we go swimming through Buku Bay, which is really, really nice. Yeah, And in each session, we have specially able children and adults integrated. So we um, thank the tourists for sponsoring. And at the end, you know, they feel connected also to community. And they felt like they made a difference, which is a really nice, you know, team spirit feeling. Yeah, that we are able to um, help the children and adults to find their superpowers. Let me explain superpowers. Everybody has a superpower, regardless of their ability. We are all specially abled. And um, we have some employees here who maybe can't read and write, but they have superpowers I don't have. So this is one big highlight, you know. And of course, you know, when I look at highlights, maybe people think about ceremonies, awards, uh, days where we have been honored, yes, we have been honored by um, the social, the division of social development. We have been, uh, you know, I was able to um, release a book in 2015, which brings over a lot of foreigners. They would like to have um, a work experience, a feeling and being with horses. So they would come here for a couple months as an intern, which also helps the foundation to grow and to be um, maintained. And also it helps and it um, is a beautiful uh, collaboration because we have some people here on board, they would maybe never travel, but different cultures coming, sharing the workspace with them, working hand in hand with them on a practical side, maybe filling manure, cleaning the paddocks, doing art therapy together, painting up the park, walking the goats and the horses and the dogs on, on the beach, you know. Um, for me, it is always a highlight when we are also able to give another horse a space here. Yeah, and uh, we have been able to uh, rescue so far 19 horses. Regarding uh, the technical and the digital, we have a lot going on in schools. So in our after school programs, we would like to have the children and the girls and the little girls and the bigger girls more involved in practical skills because some of them they don't use their hands anymore. So I'm actually um, disconnecting them again, taking them out for nature walks because a lot of anxiety issues come from too much, being too much on the devices. So that's my take. It is important that we celebrate women and it's important that we celebrate the woman power and when I work with the, with the girls and the, and the ladies, I tell them, you know, go and believe in your power. You can lead that horse, you can walk that horse, and after knowing how to lead and walk that horse, you can ride that horse, but you have to show the horse your Xena power. You understand? So, you know, I am worthy. You as a woman, you are worthy. Yeah, and um, if you believe in yourself, yes, and that's why we have to celebrate we each other as women. The Office of the Parliament celebrates International Women's Day 2023. Digital, innovation and technology for gender equality.